So hi there, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to look at the Give Energy and Axle collaboration uh, over the winter so that you can earn some money from your excess uh, energy that you've got stored in your battery to kind of help out the grid when it's under strain. Now I've just been through the sign up process myself and kind of recorded it all but interestingly enough there's some more information in within the sign up process that they kind of didn't really talk about um, when they actually sent out the initial email such as you know I didn't know that they've actually guaranteed the price uh, for the first six events which is really good uh, more information about that kind of in the video um, so here we go so signing up to the give energy uh, DFS and I don't mean sofas Coming into the control panel, the online dashboard, you can actually do this if you've got the email as well, I think, and go direct. But what you'll see in this uh, online dashboard, which is in the cloud, so it's giveenergy.cloud forward slash dashboard, where you normally log in to see your sort of control panel. On the left here now, you can see this kind of give back uh, pound sign. So I'm going to click on that, and then I get this nice box. Uh, Basically, I can earn money this winter from the ESO DFS demand flexibility service, not dodgy furniture shop. And uh, what I have to do is keep my battery topped up before an event, uh, which I don't really know what that really means, whether they're going to top that up for me. I think they will. Uh, export excess energy from your battery when the grid is strained and then get paid for the kilowatt hours that support the grid. So let's give it a go. So sign up with Axel Energy, which takes us to their website. So fairly similar stuff. Says so the same thing again. Help the grid this winter. Earn around two pound a kilowatt hour. Yeah, we we hope. Um, and then uh, basically, uh, they will connect your battery via the internet. Uh, there is some more information here, which is useful. So signing up, I need to provide details where I live and connect. They'll connect to my smart meter. We'll connect to your battery via Give Energy with your permission. We'll register your details with the National Grid and we'll send you an email to let you know everything is ready to go. When there's an event, we'll send you an email. Typically, typically even typically an event will be for an hour in the evening. That's not very long. I was hoping for three or four uh, and we'll email you as soon as we know about it. So, I mean, for an hour, that's not very long. If you think about it, you know, if you're running like a three kilowatt hour inverter, so I can only push out three kilowatts that night. Uh, so three times two, if it's two pounds, six pounds. So that would be okay. Uh, I thought they were going to deplete my whole battery. Uh, we charge your battery when it's cheapest. Okay. We'll set a charge schedule to make sure your battery is sufficiently charged by the end of your off peak rate if you have one yeah i do that anyway to 100 percent, so that's good just before the event we'll check if you have enough charge to export through the event right normally i do about four o'clock onwards but if you don't we'll top it up for you good uh, that shouldn't happen though because events are during the early evening this might mean that we're charging whilst you're paying more however the price will pay you typically between one and two pounds it's much higher than the typical peak import prices, so you'll still be making a tidy profit. Should do, because I'm on about 30 pence uh, on my peak rate. We export during the event. If you have a minimum reserve level, we won't discharge below that. So there's a really good tip. If you don't want it to go below, you'll give energy battery below a certain percentage, then basically set the reserve level. At the moment, my reserve level is set to as low as it will go, which is about 4%, I think. Um, so set that level if you don't want it to go below a certain level. Uh, we revert your settings. After the event, we'll revert all your settings on your battery. On non-event days, your battery will continue to behave according to whatever settings you choose. Ah, they've really thought about this. This is good. You cash out your earnings. I certainly will be. We'll send you an email stating how much you earned with a link to view and cash out your earnings. You can cash out when your balance exceeds £10. Payment is via bank transfer. Uh, okay yeah i mean 10 pounds if there's an hour it's three kilowatts an hour if i'm lucky even though i'll be using some in the house probably uh let's say 2.5 uh, and if it's a pound minimum uh yeah i'm gonna get <laughs> two pound 50 
So it's going to take four events for me to cash out. Um, so we will see how they're calculated. All right. I fairly understand it already, but we'll check out the graph. The event happens. Oh, charge battery overnight. Okay. Okay. Export to the grid during the event. Yeah, get all that. No problem. The National Grid, who runs the program, has guaranteed prices for the first six events. Good to know. Uh, I'm expecting 20 events, you know, two a week over the winter. You'll receive two pounds for those events. Well, just sign up now then. Just do it. Six events at two pound ten. Oh my God, it's worth doing the six, the first six, and then turning it off if you don't want to. Subsequently, the price will vary, but we expect it to remain above one pound a kilowatt hour. Your contribution is calculated by measuring your net electricity usage import minus export during an event and comparing it to the same period, five till six on non-event days. For instance, if you typically import two, from five till six, which I clearly don't, but during an event we export three, this will be calculated as a contribution of five at a price of two pounds. So you'd earn £10.50 for this event. Right, okay. That's got me a little bit confused in a way. I, I kind of understand it, um, but I won't be importing between five and six. Typically, OK, typically I do not. So I will only get basically the uh, export. But if you want to really fiddle with this and work out which days they're measuring, because when when is a typical import? Uh, so I don't know what days they're going to take because you could really play with this. Anyway, this program starts on October the 30th. Great, because it's now 9th of November and we expect a few events per week. This is a new program. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sign up now. Still more frequently asked questions. How do I sign up? Am I eligible? Why do you need to connect to my smart meter? So you can read it. Why do you need to connect to my battery so you can drain it and fill it? Um, who is paying for this? Who is Axel Energy? Good question. It connects residential devices like EV chargers and batteries. Why is the grain grid strained? Uh, can I participate in this and other flexibility programs? You'll need to agree to not participate in flexibility programs by offered by other providers. Yeah, I believe in this one better. Uh, how long will this run for? I'm hoping for 20 events. This program doesn't have an end date, but is scheduled to last through to March. Good. Uh, how do I participate? I think I know that. How do you adjust my charge schedule? Uh, yeah, via the API. What if I already have a charge schedule? Will I lose it? We'll adjust it for the day of the event and then we'll revert it back again. How does this impact my tariff? Will I pay more? Well, probably if you're importing, you will. What if I have solar? I think it'll be dark by then. Um, will I see any changes to my feed-in tariff? That's a good question. No, you'll continue to receive the same payments from the program. So if you're exporting at that time in the evening, you should also get your SEG and FITS payments on top of this. So this is really a no-brainer. Um, how frequently will they occur? Uh, once, well, once or twice a week. I'm hoping for twice. What time will they occur? It can happen at any hour of the day, <laughs> but most likely to happen from 4 till 8 p.m. Uh, do I have to participate in everyone? No, you don't. I believe you can override the schedule. How do I opt out? Probably turn it off. What happens when there isn't an event? Nothing, probably. Yeah. How will I be notified? We will update your relevant details and stats on your participation. We'll send you an email before each event. How much could I be rewarded? You'll get two pounds. I think we've talked about this already. And then one pound more than that. When will I get rewarded? You can cash out when it's more than 10 pounds. How? Bank transfer. 
will send you emails with a summary. So it doesn't look like this dashboard to log into. So anyway, let's sign up. Get some contact details. Check your smart meter. to verify your address. Consent to your battery connection. My name, Nikola Tesla. Nicola even, not me. I have read and understood it. I'd like to be... Well, okay, do that anyway. I pay dual rate. Now, obviously, if you're on dynamic, on agile, you'd probably do that. Single rate, you're on single rate. Start of my cheap period, 11.30 till 5.30 a.m. Because I am on intelligent. Obviously, if you're on go, you would be 12.30 till 4.30, I believe. That's right, isn't it? 11.30 p.m. till 5.30 a.m. Yes. Okay. Dress time. Don't look. I currently live at this dress and I've lived here for more than 30 days. Great, they've got my smart me, my meet. They just automatically picked up my meter point admin number or MPAN. Meter point admin number. Consent to smart meter access. We need your access. Read energy consumption every 30 minutes. Retrieve details of the meter. Retrieve details of your energy storage. N3 RGY NRG data services used by Axel Energy. You can withdraw your consent at any time. I consent. We need to confirm that you live at the address. Verify with a debit or credit card. Use your in-home display. We need the Mac number, which is found on your smart meters display. Yeah, you can do that downstairs. I've seen that in your smart meter. Or you can upload your utility bill. There's no way I'm doing that. Well, I could do that. Because Octopus send it in a PDF. Uh, which one to do? Which one do you think is safer? I think I'm going to go with the Mac number on the home display. Okay, so I just need to enter the Mac number, GUID, or EUI number that can be found on the bottom of your in-home display in settings about info. So we'll go check that out now. Right, so I'm down at the smart meter and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the menu. So I'm going to hit OK on this version and then go along and go to IHD. OK, it's one of the last settings on this one. And then I've got my GUID number at the bottom. So I just need to record that and enter that on the screen. OK, so my IHD Mac. I'm going to enter the actual, it says enter your Mac, but it says GUID as well. So I'm going to go with GUID because I got that. I'm entering it without the hyphens. Now I don't know if it's going to take this or not. Let's just double check that. Blah, 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 four zeros. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's give that a go. Oh, good. They validated it. So now what? Continue. Your battery will connect to your battery via the Give Energy portal. This will allow us to manage your battery before and during the flex events. Continue to give energy and grant access. Okay, now I'm going to link this account. Okay, Axel Energy is requesting permission to access your account. Full control over your inverters. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> List accounts you have access to. Or go on then. Anything for cash. Your chosen partner is Axel Energy. You're all set up now. Here's how you'll get paid. Normally your battery will operate as normal, making you sure you're using as much of your own solar as possible. Good. Before an event, Axel Energy will top up your battery before a grid event so you can use your stored power. During an event, your home will run from battery. Any extra power you don't need will be exported back to the grid. 
to help prevent a coal power plant from switching on. Need to opt out? You can withdraw. Okay, so that seems to be it. If I go back on the pound sign, what happens now? Anything different? Anything changed? No, just the same thing and it's told me I've signed up. That's it really. So now I think we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And obviously once the first one has happened, I'll probably try and if I know it's happening, I'll probably try and make a video of it actually happening live, you know, guys, it's going on. But uh, if not, then I'll, uh, I'll speak to you about the aftermath and see what happened. So that was it for the sign up process. I did get an email from them. Um, basically, it went in my junk folder in my Hotmail account. So have a look for that if you don't get an email uh, fairly soon after signing up. And basically, it didn't say kind of too much. It basically just says, um, thanks for signing up. We're all set up. Uh, once the battery's needed to support the grid, we'll send you an email. And uh, if you have solar, your battery will still soak up as much as possible. And you can always adjust your schedule from the Give Energy app. And thanks for helping the grid. And that was about it. And obviously you can get in contact with them, get in touch with them if you need to. Uh, I think this will be a little bit like kind of if you've used Octopus Intelligent, where kind of Intelligent will probably adapt your car's um, charging uh, setup basically for time charging or scheduled touched for scheduled timing. And obviously the same thing will probably happen in the background with your battery, your settings will change. And then the next day they'll kind of change back again. Hopefully it'll take a snapshot of how you've got it set up before the event and it will re uh, reset that back afterwards anyway. But thanks for watching. I hope you found that video useful. If you did give us a like uh, and don't forget to leave us a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.